All right, you guys, this is the look. Um, Yeah, very pretty. I hope you all can see it just as good as I can. If you cannot see it as good, I know I'm on this phone here. Check out my Instagram account. You can see it even better. This is what it looks like, you guys. It's like so summery and just, I have to say a little Barbie-like. <laughs> <laughs> with nothing's wrong with that right okay all right so this is the makeup look but i'm going to show you something that i like to do as well that um some of you might already do it but i'm just going to mention it to you anyways uh one thing that i love is just applying a foundation on the lips which i know a lot of women do that uh, i don't know if it's still a trend or not but i still do it and I did put the foundation onto my lips and I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm using my beauty sponge that I applied my foundation onto my skin. Going to dab it in a little bit more. Okay. I find that that is the perfect nude for me. Like it, it won't fade. I really don't have to put a lipstick on because this foundation is just so beautiful with my skin tone uh, i have tan golden peachy undertones so and I, I and i have tan skin so this foundation here this uh, brand here is so good that i feel like i will purchase this brand over and over and over again i just think it's just so pretty on me um but if you like lip liner you can apply lip liner a lot of times i just like it like this but i'll show you you know if you want to you know uh, of course, you all know it's just lip liner. Um, one of my favorite lip liners is the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in 032 Innocent. Um, it's one of my favorites. I usually, sometimes I use this for lipstick alone. I just fill in my lips with this liner. And I think it's just a pretty, pretty nude. Now, whenever I want to say I want to make my lips look a little fuller or whatnot or or just uh, straighten out the foundation on my lips or something, I'll take a lip liner like this and I'll just, you know, line my lips. And this color seems to not be the correct shade, but... The contrast actually makes my lips look a little fuller because it's not the exact shade as the foundation that's on my lips. So it's not ombre. This just gives you a more fuller looking lip because the color is just a little bit different. The liner is different from the foundation uh, that I have applied onto my lips. And I find that if you find like the right uh, foundation for your skin tone, then then there's no need in getting a nude lipstick. You know, you can actually wear the foundation onto your lips and I feel like it lasts a long time. However, this brand right here, it lasts a long time. So I can't say every foundation will do that. Let me take that back. This foundation here that I discovered, which is a gem of mine in my opinion, um it just it just works so good. I don't even need nude liner no more. It just it is just the exact same match as my skin, and therefore it even goes well as a nude uh, lip color. Just apply the foundation on and it dries as if it is a lipstick, okay? Because that is a very long-lasting foundation. All right, so I'm just applying the lip liner, and it gives a contrast there. That's gonna actually makes my lips look a little bit fuller, okay? So, yeah, that's just a tip and a, a little trick you can use uh, to intensify. I know I'm sweating a little bit on my nose there. Sorry. Uh, it's hot here. But, 
I thought I would share that little tip, okay? I, I love to share my little tips. And um, so, yeah, this is the makeup look. Um, add a little highlighter there. Been liking that lately. So, there we go, you guys. Once again, this is the look. This is the completed look. Uh, this is what it looks like from the side. Right there, right there, <laughs> and then over here on this side. It's such a beautiful makeup look. It, like I said, it looks like a Barbie type of eye makeup look. I've been loving it. I think it's beautiful for this summer. I think to not just... You know, like instead of using neutral tones and stuff like that to put in your transition or into the crease, try some pink, some purple, some red, some orange, and just, you know, do something different. You ain't always have to use a neutral color or a natural color or something like that to go and start in with your eyeshadows. Yeah, I have this red tone and this copper tone and brown tone all the way up here to my brow but the way that i put the eyeshadows on i feel like that it just looks beautiful it's just a beautiful say a night out look or a special occasion look or some kind of event look i think will this makeup look will look good and in fact I've been wearing these type of looks every day on an everyday basis. Just going to the grocery store, just going, to <laughs> going down the road, you know, just riding around, going somewhere. I wear it every day, but I'm just saying, if you're not that courageous as I am with makeup, okay, then just wear it on a special occasion or not out or something like that. You know, that, that just depends on the person. But honey, when it comes out of makeup for me, I wear whatever I want. If I want a dramatic eye makeup look on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yes, I will rock it, okay? Y'all know me. Y'all should know me by now. Y'all know how I am. I can get a little crazy with makeup, but hey, you know, I love makeup. It's just what I love. So I thought I'd create this makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you was able to see it, you guys. My camera just completely just broke up on me. It broke up on me! <laughs> no, <I'm> <laughs> But seriously, I hadn't used it in so long that, yeah, I just, you know how it is. They say when you don't use it, you know, camera for a while, it just messes up. So, yeah, y'all just have to bear with me with the phone and everything. And hopefully, you know, I can get back to the camera deal and, yeah, have better, um, you know, videos and all, but for now, I just thought I'd come in and say hi to everyone and to create this makeup look. Look forward to more videos, you guys. I have some fantastic uh, products uh, to let you or introduce to you and all. And yeah, you guys, I love the way my makeup been looking. So I need to go ahead and take my Instagram pics real quick. <laughs> So y'all check check out my uh, Instagram account. Uh, it's S Shamay, y'all know, and uh, you can see this uh, eye makeup look a little bit better. Okay, if not, you might can see it real good right now. I don't know. This camera is very confusing, but yeah, check out that and uh, my Instagram account. Check out my Facebook pages as well, you know, because I'll be doing some things over there. I've been doing stuff over there for a while, and I decided, you know what, I need to go over there and make a video. I got a lot of y'all responses, comments uh, over the time that I was taking my break and just going through my trial, <laughs> trial time. And yeah, I appreciate all the love, and I appreciate all of you um actually uh inspiring me and uh yeah lifting me up and uh yeah you guys you are loved and i appreciate it and yeah you guys i'm gonna let you go so you all have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening and i see you and yeah keep 
uh, check on this channel. You never know when I might have a video. I don't have a schedule. I realize that when I make a schedule, I end up not being able to do the videos as scheduled. So just keep a check on my channel, you guys. I'm going to let you go. All right. Bye. <laughs>